In this video, we provide the solution to question number six from practice exam number two for Math 1050, in which case we're given three quadratic equations and asked which of these equations have at least one real solution. So they could have one solution or two solutions. In particular, we want to rule out any that have two non-real complex solutions. And we don't have to solve the equations. We just have to recognize the nature of the solution set. So I'm going to try to use the discriminant to help me out here. So remember, the discriminant is this b squared minus 4ac. It's the part that shows up inside the, the square root of the quadratic formula, the radicand there. Um, and so for the first one, i right here, your discriminant would look like the b, of course, is the linear coefficient there. So 4 squared is 16 minus, for the next one, we're going to get 4 times 1 times negative 1. Notice this is going to equal 20 when you simplify it. That is greater than 0. So in this situation, you would have two real solutions. So we're going to check off i. That's going to be part of our list. Uh, what about 2 here, double i? Uh, same basic idea. We're going to compute the discriminant. We're going to take a negative 12 squared. So that's going to give us 144. Then we're going to subtract from it 4 times 4 times 9, like so, uh, for which, you know, continue with the calculation right here, but you're going to actually quickly notice that 4 times 4 times 9 is actually 144 again. Um, in which case, then you end up with 0. 0 is still OK. Um, that actually means you have exactly one real solution. This, in retrospect, we could see is actually a perfect square trinomial. Uh, this thing would factor as 2x minus 3 squared. You don't need to know that, but be aware that it is a perfect square trinomial. It has exactly one real solution. It's just the vertex of the parabola. Thus, it's going to be included on our list. But you notice here that you know we've already ruled out some of the possibilities. Since 1 and 2 are there, um, you, you know D could be an answer, but it could also be like G. What about 3? Uh, let's check that one. So for the last one here, uh, we'll compute the determinant. Uh, so we're going to get negative 6 squared, which is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 12, like so. In that situation, what do we end up with? Well, 4 times 12 is 48. So you're going to get 36 minus 48. This already we already know is negative at this moment. But if you want to finish it up, you're going to get negative 12. It's less than 0. Since the discriminant is negative, that means there's no real solution. So we don't get 2. Uh, therefore, since 1 and 2 have 2 and 1 solutions, respectively, uh, and 3 does not. We see the correct answer would be choice D. 1 and 2 have real solutions. Number 3 has no real solutions.